but let me show you this. This is a satellite image right here. I think it's said of Chesapeake Bay area. Chesapeake Bay, okay. Uh, this is a satellite image, and we are looking at it in what they call a true color composite. Okay, so the satellite has gone over. It's collected information about uh, the blue, green, and red reflectivity in the particular area. And then in order to make what we're seeing here uh, a true color composite, they've taken exactly like what you would expect with a photograph. They've said, hey, take the blue and assign it to the blue diodes on the screen. Take the green and assign it to the green and the red and assign it to the red. And once you do that and have the colors mixing in that, in that way, it looks sort of like you would expect it to look if you were looking out of an airplane. It doesn't look exactly like it. You, 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 it's not true that you can put it together and it will be perfect. Once you've broken it apart, well, it's not exactly perfect as far as putting it back together for a, a, a true aerial photo kind of look. But it's pretty close. I mean, this is, you know, vegetation looks green. You can see the river in there. It looks like we have some clouds up in there. But you don't have to look at satellite images like this. And in fact, most of the time, as I was saying, people don't. A very common way to look at satellite images is to start playing with the assignment of the bands to different diodes in the monitor. And you call this band to color gun assignment. That's the terminology they use in remote sensing. You talk about having different color guns. You have the red, the blue, and the green color gun that you can use to display things on your monitor. But you don't have to use, for instance, the red color gun, those red pixels, to display red. You can start to mix that up. Let's take a look at this. This is a pretty common way to display a remote sensing image. This is the same remote sensing image, okay, but displayed as what's called a false color composite. This is a false color composite. It's, we have not taken the, uh, uh, the bands directly from blue to blue, green to green, red to red. It tells you, this is a very common color gun assignment, and it even tells you on this particular caption what's happened here. This is the same color as a false color image using the near-infrared red and green spectral bands mapped to RGB. Okay? So in this case, this, I, this, is, this may be, oh, it is. It's a Landsat satellite image. And so here we're not using uh, red, we're not using the blue reflectivity at all. Okay? We're using near-infrared because that particular system is designed to collect information outside of just our visible spectrum. So we can keep going this way. We get into infrared now. We go over here to what they call the near infrared. And that has a certain wavelength that the sensor picks up. And then over here you get into uh, far infrared. And you get you know, some kind of reflectivity in stuff that we can't even see. So what they've done here is they've taken a near-infrared, red, and green, right? That was right, right? Near-infrared, red, and green, and then mapped them to the red, green, and blue color guns. So rather than showing red as red, they're taking near-infrared, the reflectivity in near-infrared, and showing it with the red color gun, the red diodes in our monitor. And then they're taking the green reflectivity, oh, excuse me, the red reflectivity and showing that with the green pixels, or the green color gun. And then they're taking the <coughs> green spectral band and showing it in blue. And when you do that, you end up with an image that looks like this. So in lab class in uh, ArcMap, <coughs> ArcMap lets you play with this. So you can tell it, hey, I want to take this particular spectral band and display it this in green. 
take this one and display it in blue. And you can play with that and mix these things together and see what type of images they produce. This is a very common band to color gun assignment. Uh, anything that is not blue to blue, green to green, red to red is called a false color composite in a broad sense. But if somebody tells you, hey, give me a false color composite, this particular band to color gun uh, assignment is sort of you know, the false color composite. Uh, and so you know what's going on when you see it. Uh, it has a, a few different characteristics that make it so usable. Like instantly, it's very easy to tell where uh, healthy vegetation is. Because when you use this particular band to color gun assignment, vegetation just pops, right? You know, everything red is healthy vegetation. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of blue here, but I, you have a little bit. Uh, you can also see we have three basic colors that jump out at you. We've got uh, red, black, and blue, right? This light blue, black. So red is healthy vegetation. Black is water. It also makes it very easy to tell where water is because water shows up black in this particular assignment. And then uh, urban areas. The reflectivity of urban areas happens to show up light blue in this particular color gun assignment. So this is why this one's used very commonly because uh, it makes it very easy to pull out vegetation, water, and urban areas visually. Not quite, not quite as easy here. But now it's really easy to pick out healthy vegetation. Questions? He took the uh, infrared band, the infrared reflectivity, and assigned it to the red color gun. So all the areas that we see that are red are like infrared areas, is that right? That's right. Uh, what's going on there is all of those red areas, the, the areas that come up bright red, have very high infrared reflectivity. Okay. So I don't understand why he had to assign the other spectrums. Like, why did he have to assign the blue and the green? It, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do we have to assign those? Because you, you said that he assigned something different to the green and something different to the blue. Yes. But why? Uh, because that's what, I mean, that particular assignment is what makes the water show up black and then the urban areas show up blue. Uh, we could play with that and say, well, I mean, we could just look at infrared reflectivity. I could just pull up the infrared band and assign it whatever color I want. And we would see that, uh, that very bright in whatever color I assigned it, all the areas that are red there would pop. And that, that might be a good way to find just vegetation. But it might not help me distinguish between urban areas and water, for instance.